So I am back to talk about Tiffany Cross, one of our favorite people in media. And it seems that she's still a lady in waiting, waiting for the right job opportunity to come her way. Welcome back. My view, my opinion, the MVMO podcast. I am your host. Thank you for joining me. I love hanging out. Love, love, love reading y'all's comments, especially when we don't agree, because some of you get real animated and it's fun. It's just fun to to exchange ideas with y'all in the comments. So if you're new, passing through, check the description box. There's general information about me there. So a lot of people have asked me to continuously keep up with Tiffany Cross because so many of us loved her show on MSNBC, The Cross Connection. Well, this is the month of November. Remember, she was fired and her show was canceled last year around this time, about November 4th is when we got our third, when we got the information. Um, and she put out that statement on her social media on November 4th. And so it's been a year and a lot of folks want to know what is she doing now? Well, she's doing exactly what she was doing after she got fired. She is simply hosting events uh, there in Washington, DC, where she lives. Uh, for instance, the last event that I'm aware of that she hosted there's an organization um, in downtown D.C. or in D.C., I should say, called Sixth and I. Um, and I'll put the link in the uh, comments for any of you who live in that area or maybe going to be traveling through the DMV area. You can um, check it out. Uh, but they do a lot of um, events. Um, they host politicians, authors. They do all kinds of things. They also have a podcast. So uh, comedian Leslie Jones, her book, I Am F and Le- Leslie Jones or F and Le- Leslie Jones, came out in October. And on October 23rd, uh, she did an event hosted by Tiffany there at 6th and I. And so, um, you know, Tiffany just interviewed Leslie. I'll put the link to that podcast uh, episode in the comments as well for those of you who want to listen to it, uh, if you happen to be a Leslie Jones fan. And so that's the deal, guys. I mean, she's hanging out with her friends, uh, the Machetes. A lot of you know that there is a group uh, of black women in media that kind of keep each other, you know, they hold each other up. Uh, it consists of a lot of them, uh, but Sonny Hostin of ABC's The View, Angela Rye, uh, Joy Reid, Tiffany Cross, um, Amanda Seals used to be a part of that group, but they kicked her out. So I'll maybe bring that story to you guys some other time. Um, and then uh, there are some other women that are a part of that group, just women that we are familiar with and who, uh, you know, a lot of us follow and they get together. They go on trips once or twice a year. Uh, they were recently in Paris together. Um, so they just do a lot of things. They went to Africa, I think this past summer. And so at any rate, that's what she's doing. You want to know what's really surprising to me, y'all? Because I thought, you know, I would have really thought that iHeartMedia or somebody, Shondaland Audio, you know, um, when, uh, oh gosh, I can see her face in my head. Her name just escaped me. Oh gosh, that's a sign of getting older, y'all. Let me see. I'm like my mom and him now. What was it? I can see the face in my head. <laughs> Iyanla. You know, when Iyanla ended her contract with OWN, you know, uh, she started her own podcast, The R Spot are standing for relationship on Shondaland Audio. You know, Shonda Rhimes has her own uh, podcasting platform called Shondaland Audio. And I just would have thought, y'all, that by now, somebody would have offered her a podcast on some platform. And maybe they have, and she turned it down. You know, maybe she's just taking, you know, all this time to kind of really dive deep within and find out kind of what she really, what direction she really wants to go. And, you know, that sounds great, but I tend to think that's probably not what it is because we all have bills and we all need to work. And a lot of people have asked me, what's the status of that lawsuit that she uh, brought against MSNBC? Well, we don't know. We never found out. But remember, she couldn't have gotten that much money because remember, we learned that when they fired her and canceled her show in November, her contract was due up in December. So she only had like one month left. And we learned, and we don't know if it's accurate, that the pay, they were paying her like 250000 a year, something around that, maybe just a tiny bit more. Um, and so she wouldn't have gotten that much in money anyway. Do you get what I'm saying? She would have been paid out the remainder of her contract. Now, the only way that I could see they would have been uh, been forced to pay her more is if she could have proven that she was unduly fired. Um, but like I told you guys back then, if if what we learned in the media is accurate from the insiders at MSNBC who told the uh, various media outlets that the executives had talked to Tiffany and asked her to tone it down several times and they had that documented and she didn't, well, then you can't really say they fired you, 
you know, with for no reason because, well, they could just show the documentation. So again, we don't know. Um, but again, I, I, I've just really wondered about that because it seems like everyone has a podcast now. Um, anybody can get a podcast, especially if they are canceled, they get a podcast. If they're fired, they get a podcast like Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. iHeartMedia has launched a deal with them um, to split 50-50 of the revenue. At revenue, they have a podcast. So again, not saying she hasn't been offered these things, but one of the things that we know about media is that you have to stay in front of people's faces and you have to stay, almost dropped my laptop, excuse me guys, hold on. You have to stay, keep your voice in their ear to remain relevant because there are so many talented people out, out here. There are so many um, things to get our attention that you could kind of get lost in the shuffle. We can kind of forget about you. Like it's been almost a year to date with the Amy TJ uh, Holmes affair. And so they were kind of getting lost in the shuffle, so to speak, and being forgotten about. Now they have this podcast that's set to premiere December 5th. So I was just very intrigued by that. And so I really tend to think that she hasn't really been offered anything of, of substance. What do you guys think about that? Um, she hasn't started a YouTube channel. You know, most people will start a YouTube channel. Uh, these celebrities do that now. Um, Jamel Hill also has her own, um, audio platform. I believe I forgot what it's called. Is it called uphill or something? Um, I think it coincides with the name of her, her memoir, but I'm not quite sure about that, but she has a podcast, you know, Michelle, uh, um, excuse me, Jamel Hill is unbothered and she also has a YouTube channel. So I really wonder, but I want to end by talking about this. One of the things, one of the little sayings that uh, people have is go woke, go broke. Um, I do think that's applicable depending on where you, where you are working. And I think what all of us in the black community understand is that the only place, the only place is that we can be unapologetically black where we can truly advocate 100% full force for our community is on our own platforms. But when we are at these places that are led by predominantly white or others, we just, our our, um, scope is limited. And that's really just the way that it is. I was always baffled, I don't know about y'all, but I was always baffled by people who were like, you know, Tiffany, you know, they shouldn't have ever tried to correct Tiffany, you know, Um, Tiffany, you know, should have kept saying, and it's like, yeah, but you got to think about the audience, you know, uh, two of MSNBC. Now, of course, her show curated its own audience, like me and you and things like that. But when you're at these types of networks that are not owned by black folks, that are not run by black folks, even though Rashida Jones um, was the uh, vice president or you know what? I haven't covered that part of the story in so many months, but a lot of you know who I'm talking about. Rashida Jones. We talked about her when the whole that stuff went down. That doesn't mean Rashida is really making the ultimate decisions. It's kind of like what hap- is happening over there at ABC News. Uh, Mrs. Kim Gottwin, who's a black woman, she's the ABC News president. And yes, she makes decisions, but the ultimate decisions are made by Bob Iger, um, who's a white man who runs Disney, Walt, you know, Walt Disney um, and ABC and all the affiliates and conglomerates that are part of that. So I don't know. Her show would have been canceled anyway, eventually, because we all know kind of what happened with like Don Lemon and Brian sets, uh, Brian, was it Brian Stetzler? Y'all know who I'm talking about. He had a show on MSNBC, MSNBC two. His name escapes me. Um, but a lot of people, not just black folks is what I'm my point lost their shows. And it really had to do with just the shakedown and change of media. You know, there were, there there was so much, you know, they had turned it up to 10 during the Trump administration and they had brought on all these people and all these people got shows and all that stuff. And they wanted to take the temperature down. And so a lot of these networks were losing money um, after the elections and all those things. And so they had to make some shifts, changes really, really quick. And so people lost their shows. Um, I don't doubt that Tiffany will eventually um, accept an offer from someone she feels is worthy. Um, But, you know, we do all have bills. And I know a lot of people had said to me before when we talked about this, oh, but Tiffany is rich. And I I was saying, no, Tiffany is not rich. 
and I play clips of that. And some people got angry because they were like, well, well, and it's like, no, you can't say she's rich. And then when someone comes back and they show you, okay, well, no, she's not rich. You can't get angry about that. I want her to be rich too. I want to be rich, but she's not, you know, Tiffany only had her show for what, close to two years, something like that. Um, and one of the, the clips I played was her saying that before she got that show, she, she needed a dire surgery to remove some fibroids. She didn't have health insurance or the money she said to have the surgery. And so she said she, she was only able to get that surgery after she got that job. And then she talked about some other things. And so see, that's not someone who's rich, you know? And so that's not a, a dig at her. That's just truth. And so, um, and then we talked about her book, Say It Louder. I read her book. Did any of you guys read her book? If you didn't, you can drop down in the comments. I'll put the link. It's an excellent book. She did a really good job with that book. But, you know, publishing um, money is not the way that it used to be, you know, unless you're someone like a Jada Pinkett Smith or a Will Smith or a, you know, a Barbara Streisand, or I was just reading the other day, a portion of Arnold Schwarzenegger's new book that's out. Unless you're one of those big, big time celebrities where they're going to give you a huge advance, then, you know, Okay, but you know, Tiffany is only known in certain circles. For instance, we just learned from iHeartMedia, from somebody inside of iHeartMedia, that TJ Holmes and Amy Robach each got $50,000 um, as what do they call it? Let me look here because I was going to um, talk with y'all about that. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me just scroll over here. Um, what do they call it? Yes, they each got a $50,000 bonus ahead of their podcast. Uh, coming out, right? So you think about that. I personally would have expected a TJ Holmes and an Amy Robach to get at least, <laughs> you know, in my head, these people who are, we see on TV and we think are so rich and are well off. $50,000, honestly, y'all, to me is not a lot of money. I don't think that's a lot of money at all. I would have expected them to maybe get $250, uh, $250,000, excuse me, or at least a hundred thousand dollar, you know, uh, bonus. But just fifty thousand dollars, you know, uh, for them, people been in the in, in the in the grind of journalism and in media all the years that they both have, um, and that's it. So it really kind of tells you kind of what's going on. And of course, we had the actors and the writers strike, and now they're both over. And uh, it seems like you know things will be better for people all the way around. But as I end, that is what's happening with Tiffany Cross that we know of. She's simply just hosting events, and um, I hope everything goes well for her. Have any of you seen her on any program? That's what I want to know because I don't watch a lot of television when I'm traveling and I'm in hotels. You know, they, they have uh, the, the cable packages. They have a million channels. That's really when I watch the most of television. Um, other than that, I'm like a podcast listener. I love uh, Amanda Seals podcast, Small Doses, Angie Martinez's podcast. I also like uh, some some legal podcasts by certain people. So that's what I do. Uh, more often, or I'm listening to an audio book or something like that. But my thing is, I, I'm just shocked that a year out, she hasn't at least had a podcast offer or at least accepted one if she's been offered it. So drop down in the comments. Let us all know. Um, she looks happy. She looks healthy uh, on her IG. You can go on and see her, uh, you know, doing different things, you know, with friends and family. Um, but there's not much work that she's posting at all. And on her website, she still got herself listed as uh, the host. I think she's now saying the former host of uh, The Cross Connection. So there you have it, guys. That is the update on our beautiful and um, talented and intelligent Tiffany Cross. We hope to see her on a TV program or at least on a podcast of her own soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Thank you.